Good morning, South Florida. I'm Gio Insignares. Here's a look at your top stories on this Monday. Breaking from overnight, Miami-Dade Police Department Director officers. Alfredo Freddy Ramirez is in the hospital. Uh, According to a statement from the department, Ramirez was in the vehicle. Tampa area when he suffered some sort of critical injury. Vehicle, We're told the director is currently undergoing surgery. It's not clear what officer. led up to the incident. Both the Florida Highway Patrol and the Florida Department of Law Enforcement are taking charge of the investigation. We're, of course, staying on top of this breaking story, and we'll bring you updates as soon as we get them. Meanwhile, a massive police scene on the water Sunday night as officers swarmed a large yacht behind the wharf, Miami. Sources say someone paid thousands of dollars to charter the yacht, but demanded the money back at gunpoint. Cell phone video showing the moment police move in and people aboard put their hands up. The entire yacht was evacuated. No word yet on any arrests. We're working to confirm the reports of this incident being an armed robbery with police. South Florida seeing roasting record temperatures on Sunday. At one point, it was 98 degrees in Miami. Experts say Sunday was the hottest day we've seen in three years. On this week in South Florida, we heard from Miami-Dade's chief heat officer, Jane Gilbert. She says that the sweltering sizzle will not be going away anytime soon. This is day 20 in a row where we've been under a heat advisory and day 42 in a row of heat indices in the triple digits. A man is in critical condition after police say he was shot in southwest Miami-Dade. Our cameras rolling at the scene Sunday afternoon along southwest 216th Street and 109th Avenue. Police say another man opened fire at the victim following an argument. The shooter took off, but officers say they found him and took him into custody. And it's been several days since a woman from Pompano Beach disappeared under what BSO is calling suspicious circumstances. Deputies were seen looking inside 38-year-old Jasmine Mayfield's apartment on Sunday. She was last seen Wednesday in the area of Northwest 4th Street and 32nd Avenue. But deputies say her car was found abandoned two days later in Hialeah with her personal belongings inside. If you think you've seen it, Mayfield, you're asked to call BSO right away. Now, don't forget, as breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. Just head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.